What's going on guys, Just GC Football, back again for another match day vlog as Peony take on Birmingham City at Deepdale. So after two wins and five draws, Peony sit in 10th. So we're still unbeaten, we're still not conceded a goal to this day as we're getting towards setting records. Only three teams have done this. What a start and what a credit it is. Like I said, it's just very unusual. Two goals, conceded zero. Hopefully that will change it deep down as we've not uh, scored a goal or conceded yet. But so like I said, we've got a good record against Birmingham City. So I fancy us today. Like I said, my prediction is 1-0 a PNE with a Emil Reese winner. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm confident as Birmingham is sit 22nd and they've not won in five and they've only got one win so far, which was against Huddersfield. So I'm confident. So following on from the transfer win, it's been a little bit disappointing for Peony. I was hoping we're back Ryan Lowe, getting that striker, getting that right wing back that is so, so badly wanted. I know they changed the narrative towards the end, saying he wasn't bothered, but I know he was. I'd rate it probably 5 out of 10. Like, so we've got quality in it with Fernandez, Woodman, who's more than stepped up to Eveson's shoes. Brady, quality signing. If we can keep him injury free, like I said, I think it's quality signing. Like I said, left wing back is just absolutely mental, especially for PNE. So we've got DRB, nice little backup. I was hoping to see another centre back, but we don't really need it, so I'm not really too bothered to not replace Van der Berg, but I was hoping we get a right wing back just to complement Potts. I was say, so if Potts does get an injury, we're in a little bit of bother, especially up front if we lose a Reese or Parrot like that. So we are a little bit short in the quality. We are a little bit short in the squad depth, which hopefully it won't show throughout the winter months. As we're certainly down on numbers this season, so if we can keep our in players injury free, it will be a bad transfer window. But this is classic P and E. We never take, we never grab the ball by its horns. I like just it's very very P and E. It's disappointing. But the other thing I will say is at least we didn't sell Reese on the last day like Blackpool did with Bowler. As that would have really annoyed me if we got no one in if we did sell Reese. But it's what it is. We'll have to play on. Like I said, we've got a good enough team to stay up. Hopefully it'll be enough to push for playoffs. And we'll see what happens this season. If we can keep it injury free, we might just stand a chance. That's the only chance again a playoff spot this season. So we will see. See how we're getting today. And hopefully it will be three points at Deepdale. So here we are at Deepdale. Go say walk across more parts of Deepdale. So my score prediction, like I said, I still stick with 1-0 Preston with a Reese winner. So Preston made two changes today. So with Reese and Brown starting. So here is our 11. So it's one in the net. Three back is Story, Lindsay and Cunningham. Out on the wing backs is Brady out on the left with Potts out on the right. Then Whiteman in our defensive midfielder, our creator. Then the two centre midfielders are Brown and McCann. And then two up tall, like I said, I'm happy that Lowe's listened for this one. So Reese and Parrot, they must go with two up front. Like I said, I'm still confident it will be 1-0 precedent with a Reese winner. We've got to play Reese more. I was going to say, got 20 goals last season. Just play more and we'll get the goals. I'm confident they've got out of form as well. They may have got a Chong on the, as a new signing, but I'm still confident we do him today. They may be playing 3 5 2 with Hogan and Dini up front, but I'm confident today. This, these are the type of games Preston's got to be winning, so I will see you guys at Deepdale. Here we go. Best chance of the game, Reese Brills should have had that, should be one up here, Nate. One and one, sure it's okay. Surely today, today, it's not going to be another nil. Fourth time in Deepdale, surely, surely. <laughs> Sixteen minutes in, it finally ends. Our streak of clean sheets. It's one 0 Birmingham here. Because there's a nice finish, a nice header there.
Preferably, what round the first half now? I've since been going to score. We need to get a grip on this game and quick. So half time thoughts, I think Birmingham were just about edge today. Like I said, real unsettled pressure when they scored. Like I said, the key difference is when Reese is missing that big chance to go 1-0 up. And Birmingham never looked back ever since taking the lead on the 17th of the minute. And we just look uncomfortable, like I said, we're not really created. And we look really, really unsettled. But we need to do better second half, come flying at him, and maybe make a few changes. It's really not working so far. That's my half time thought so far. Got to do better. Turns out Brady's gone out right wing back, Fernandez has gone on left wing back. I think it will say Birmingham fans, I think they're allowed this so far deep now, so I'll give fair credit. But between one and a half and two K it looks like here. Two side from Wyman, really should be 2 0, but massive let off. Woman reacts to that. Big let off. Good shot, that. But so, Con's being here. Yeah. Bet from Peony, keep going. So, another chance goes back in for Peony. He's with the hit side there with Reese. Come on, Peony, let's do this. Another chance goes back in. The 20 minutes go to Deepdale, 1 0 Birmingham still here. That just about sums up today, that. So five minutes of added time here at Deepdale. Honest Peony. Has to bury it there. Two minutes to go here, Deepdale. Can we get rescue this? Last chance at Deepdale here for a kick to North End. Can we rescue this? So that concludes the video. I'm now back home after a 1 0 defeat to Birmingham City. They did what North End are so good at doing playing the system like that especially away from home the away performance was fantastic because uh, they didn't really give us much chance we should have done better like i said especially with that reese chance and probably brown should have maybe could have gotten the end of it as well so it's been a disappointing day this gonna say but no for but fair credit to them i take nothing away a perfect away performance and they got the win they got the job done with a collins header from across job done and they just sat it out in the second half perfect but North End, we need to be better. Two goals in eight games is not good enough. It shows our lack of creativity. We've got to do better, especially at deep down. Away from home, perfect. That's how to play the game. We'll say just faint injuries, waste time. Horrible to play against, horrible to break down. We've got to do better. And we'll see how we do on the road once more. As we now got Bristol City away from homes. So we'll see how we get on against them. But I'm a very disappointed North End fan today. It's now four games at Deepdale, zero goals for North End. So I've got no content. <laughs> but this is the first goal on this channel for the Deepdale vlogs. So, but it comes from Birmingham. So fantastic, isn't it? But we march on. It just shows our poor transfer windows. And one thing I will mention with Birmingham is I'm impressed by Chong. He did well. So it shows you what a good investment he was. I'm hearing rumours. Let me know, Birmingham fans. Was he £4 million or less? Is it undisclosed? But I've heard murmurs of a £4 million. Do let me know in the comments below. As I was very impressed by him. As... And you surprised me. How well you did. Like I said, nothing did well the first 10 minutes. And then we just shell-shocked, really. But that's all there is to say on it. Birmingham deserved the win. It's because I said we didn't do enough to break him down or deserve the win. Must do better. But I have been Jess GC Football. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more PNE content, more football content, more vlogs. As hopefully as I will be in Manchester, so I will be doing a Bristol City away. 
So we'll see how we get on. But uh, just how the channel go. So I do appreciate all your support as we now pass 500 subs. So fantastic. Peace. Ciao for now.